how to create a free iTunes account. You don't need any credit card. You just need one email address. Email address is necessary for this process, okay? Now, once you have the email address, open iTunes and you don't have to worry about the iTunes version. I've got the latest iTunes, which is iTunes 8. And as you can see here, I have iTunes 8. So it doesn't matter which version you have, you are sure to create a free iTunes account. Now remember this, you need an iTunes account for using the genius feature present in iTunes 8. And uh, so this is one of the most important reasons to get an iTunes account. How to create an account? Well, we'll start by this. First, you have to click, uh, click on iTunes Store here with a green bag. Okay. Then scroll down to the bottom. As you can see, My Store. It asks for the country here. You can select any country you like. Whichever country yours is, you will get a free account. But I prefer United States. I will tell you later why. So I really recommend I using United States. Now here is the most important you know, point in this process you have to select any of the top five free apps okay if you select top paid apps you will not get the free option it must be top free apps okay select any one of the apps iTunes store is a bit heavy so it might take time to create an account but it's very easy process click on the gray button get, which is get app now it asks you for creating an account. You don't have one, so of course you'll create one. Now it uh, it's basic, it's quite easy. Click on continue. Once you click on continue, you get this option, iTunes store and conditions. Um, you just have to select this checkbox saying I have read and agree the uh, iTunes terms and service click here and then again click on continue now this is one of the most important steps here it asks for your email and it has to be valid you can't just put any random email okay, you should have that email it's not necessary to put in any important email you can create a useless email and use it for your iTunes account but send me an email and your password and verify now let me just show it to you this question can be any question you want um, let's say this question Uh, this date of birth is necessary okay so it doesn't have to be valid but at least you should remember it now it asks you would you like to receive the following via email uncheck them because you don't want them spamming your email <laughs> these are pretty useless continue Okay, so it says that this ID has already been taken. <laughs> wow, well, it's gonna use that account. Anyways, yes, we're gonna change it a bit. This ID doesn't exist. I'm just, you know, showing you how to make an account. Now, as you can see, there's this option here, none. Okay, when you click on it, now you don't have to pay at all you don't have to use any gift cards or any visa or any mastercard you don't have to use anything here now this information is necessary you have to you know fill it completely here comes mr name Now remember this, <coughs> the state, the phone, the zip code and city, they all matter a lot. 
for example if I write here any like this number then the number itself must be seven digits long if you put like let's say eight digits or six digits not exactly five it will give an error so it must be five even if it's fake this is fake okay it says one two three four I need one more digit here. Now, this is seven digits long. You don't know a uh, zip code, they will check the zip code, okay? I mean, the iTunes software will check it. You don't have it right now, so just put any number and click on continue. I've selected here New York, you better select New York because it, you know, it gets complicated if you don't know anything. Now it says here that the zip code must be five digits long. Okay, let's put another number here. Now, I don't live in America, so this is quite not uh, I don't know any of this thing these things now area code must be three digits long now you see the these problems okay um, three digit area code seven digit number and five digit zip code it's probably gonna give another one more error yeah okay here it is it says address verification zip code it asks for your zip code in New York. Now you don't have one, do you? So you just click on any one of these zip codes. Okay, just click on done. I don't know who the guy may be, but let's click on the zip code. There you go. Verify your account. Unown unown .com. <laughs> Funny. Anyways, um, you have to open your email first, then click on the verification link that's sent to your email. Once you're done, yeah, once you've clicked there, your email will automatically be verified once that step is done just click here done now you are back to the iTunes store okay um, once you reach here you just have to select this button here sign in on the right top corner click here put in your email and password you'll automatically get logged in and that's how you create a free iTunes account hope that helped you if you've got any other questions just write it in the comment box thank you for watching my video